Good morning, Gators. I'm Tyler Kimball. And I'm Abrina Emerson. Welcome to Gator Broadcast News. Before we begin, please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thanks, Tim. This show is created on a principle to voice students' opinions and ideas. Yes, and we're looking for Gator Pride in each individual to get us news. This is an urgent reminder to students to come by the guidance office to get results from the Biology 1 and the U.S. History State Test from last school term. Retests begin on September 21st, and you need to know if you need to participate and how to obtain a tutorial assistance. See your assigned counselor in the guidance office. If you want to be a part of Poetry Out Loud, please see Ms. Drake or Ms. Bell. If you want to be a part of the Praise Team, please see Ms. Drake or Ms. Yates. If you want to attend the Alcorn High School Day, it is on September 26th, and the deadline to turn in everything is on September 16th. Now yeah. we're going to Tim and Maisha for sports. And, and this, this is your, your weekly morning, morning sports news. news. First in sports news, the Gators football team had their first loss against Lawrence Central football team. Our Gators will come back with a win against Yazoo City football team. Richburg Gators softball leading freshman females are Kayla Foster, Kelsey Lockers, with Kayla, Kayla's batting average at a 6.67 and Kelsey's at a 6.43. Senior Maya Wright and Shelby Mihev, Maya with a bat, batting average at a 4.66 and Shelby's at a 4.29. The Vicksburg Gator volleyball team has a home game September 10th at 6.50 in the Vicksburg High School Gym, so come out and show your Gators some support. Also, September 12th, the Vicksburg High School swim team has a meet at the city pool at 12. Go and show the Gators some love. This side is for the sports news today, Gator. Back to Brenda and Tyler. Thanks, Tim and Aisha. Coach, you have signed a free agent contract for the Pittsburgh Steelers who went on to win the Super Bowl that year in 1974. Although he got cut in training camp, he never gave up football. Thank you for that, Tyler. Now on to Kenya for weather. Good morning, VHS Gators. I'm your meteorologist, Kenya Cobbs, and I'm going to be covering your weather in the swamp. Monday, it will be partially sunny, with a high of 86 and a low of 59. Tuesday, it will be cloudy, and a high of 87 and a low of 66. Wednesday, it will be cloudy also, and a high of 89 and a low of 67. And Thursday, it will be partially cloudy with a high of 91 and a low of 67. Friday, it's going to be rainy, so bring your umbrellas. Friday, it will be a high of 90 and a low of 68. And that's your weather forecast for the day. And I'm Kenya Cobb signing off. Thank you for that, Kenya. We've had some of our Gator Broadcast News members interview Mama Gator. We're going to take a look at that now. I've been here, I think, about 35 years. I love the family environment that we've created here all these years. We've been like a great big family focusing on our children, the students that come here. So I love that about it. I love the children. I really do. They keep me going. They keep me on my toes. They keep me interested in life. I learn whatever they're learning that's new to them. I can tell them what I already know. It's been a blessing. I chose teaching when I was in, I think in the ninth grade. I wanted to be a ninth grade English teacher. And I've been mighty, mighty blessed to have had that opportunity to teach ninth grade. And now I'm teaching 12th grade, and it's been fun. We sure do appreciate our Mama Gator. Well, that's all for Gator Broadcast News. Catch you later, Gators. Ooh, beef. Ooh, chicken.